proximal humerus fracture. Non-displaced impacted and reducible fractures at the proximal end of the humerus are generally treated by conservative means. Dislocated, unstable, or irreducible two, three, and four-part fractures are however considered as an indication for operative fixation, especially in the young patient. Our example shows a type B or three-part fracture with considerable displacement of the greater tuberosity by pull of the rotator cuff. Close reduction and maintenance appears rather difficult. The proximal humerus is approached through an anterior incision. For more exposure of the greater tuberosity, the deltoid muscle may be detached from the clavicle. Otherwise, the dissection should be kept minimal in order not to devitalize too much bone. Reduction of the fracture can usually be obtained by pulling on the humerus and by careful manipulation of the fracture site. One or two K-wires secure the head fragment to the shaft. The greater tuberosity may be reduced separately by a hook and retained with a Kirshner wire. To counteract the pull of the rotator cuff, tension band wiring is planned. First, however, we will replace the K-wires by two or more 4-0 cancella screws with washers. Therefore, drilling with a 2.5 millimeter drill bit. Measuring the length with the depth gauge and tapping with the cancellous tap in the near cortex only. Insertion of a four millimeter cancella screw with shaft and with a washer. Retract the Kirshner wire. Enlarge the hole with a 2.5 millimeter drill bit. After measuring and tapping, insertion of a second 4-0 cancella screw with a washer. The most important part of this internal fixation is now the placement of the tension band wire. In the human, we can place the wire through the insertion of a rotator cuff where the Sharpies fibers provide a good anchorage. This can be done with the help of a pre-bent cannula. In our bone model, where the rotator cuff is simply glued to the bone, we cannot use the same technique. We therefore drill a two millimeter hole between the lesser and greater tuberosities rather tangentially so as to grab both of these structures, including the cuff. A 1.2 millimeter wire is now pulled through the hole and anchored distally with a figure of eight around one of the screw heads, including the washer. may then be tightened with a slight abduction of the arm. The cancella screw is now driven in fully. The preliminary fixation with the K wire is retracted. This kind of fixation requires minimal stripping of the bone and provides enough stability to encourage immediate active movement of the shoulder joint. 